Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover the page report in Google Analytics 4 and how you can improve it. Or if you're familiar with the Universal Analytics version of the page report, make this GA4 page report more familiar or similar to the Universal Analytics version. So here's the page report in Google Analytics 4. And there are a couple of ways that you can arrive on this report. From the left navigation, if you click on reports and under lifecycle, engagement, pages and screen, this is where it'll take you. Or if you're on the home page of Google Analytics, from the top, if you scroll down a bit, there's a data table for views by page title and screen class. And you can click on this link, view pages and screens, so that it'll take you to the page report in Google Analytics 4. And once we arrive, you can see that there's a few charts at the top. We have this time series chart, which shows us the top pages, the top few pages. It looks like it's about five pages. Yeah, the top five pages. And also this bar chart that also shows us the top five pages as well. So these two charts are different versions of the same thing. And if your website traffic develops a pattern over time, then these charts might not be too useful. For example, as you can see, the top pages here are the home page in both of these charts. So if this is a developed pattern, then these charts won't be that useful. Now, if we scroll down, there's a data table here that shows us the page title or screen class and then metrics including views, users, views per user, average engagement time, event count, conversions, and total revenue. This is similar to the version in Universal Analytics, but there are a few differences. So if we go and take a look at the page report in Universal Analytics, we can also see the page, page views, unique page views, which in Google Analytics 4 is replaced by users. And they're actually pretty similar because unique page views is the number of sessions during which the specified page was viewed at least once. And in a similar fashion, if a user visits one of these pages, then they'll obviously count in the user column for Google Analytics 4. So back to the universal analytics version of the page report, there's average time on page where we have average engagement time in GA4 entrances. This isn't in the GA4 out of the box page report nor is bounce rate, nor is percent exit. And there's also page value for the universal analytics version where we also have total revenue in GA4. I wanna point out in GA4, there are these event count and conversions columns. And for these columns, you can actually filter the rest of the data table by selecting specific events or conversions. So for example, for event count, you can select these, any of these events listed. For example, if you want to create a landing page report, you can choose the session start event and the table will update to show you the pages where users started their session from. And in a similar fashion with conversions, 
you can select whatever conversions you have configured for example purchase begin checkout or any of these other conversions available so let's set this back to all events now another option for the page report is the expiration report and this is a custom report you can create specifically for pages the advantage of an exploration report is you don't have to go back and configure the exploration report every time you want to look at the report based on a specific event or a specific conversion so in the left navigation click on the explore option and once this load you can create a blank one or choose the free form we're going to go with our example here and when this loads rename the exploration report at the top left corner here and add any dimensions or any metrics that you want and you'll do that by clicking on this plus icon and searching for the metrics that you want to add so for example we had to add the metric for exits so make sure that any metrics that you want to add are checked off so that will include metrics like views views per session views per user and once you have all your metrics click on import in the top right corner in the dimension section click on the plus sign and we'll add a landing page dimension so in the search bar type in landing and check that off and click on import in the top right corner you can drag your landing page dimension to the rows section under tab settings and then you can drag your other metrics that you want to add if you scroll down drag those over to the value section so we'll add views active users and you can also reference the out of the box page report to see what other metrics that you want to add so there's also views per session or views per user average engagement time event count conversions and we can also add bounce rate which we'll put underneath average engagement time as well as exits so now we can see all our metrics for this landing page report now for a general overview of the page report what we can do is click on this down arrow this drop down arrow and select duplicate and we'll name this page report so we still have our metrics that we copied or we duplicated from the landing page report but instead of using the landing page dimension we're going to scroll up and use the page path or or you can use the page title dimension and replace the landing page dimension so this will update the page report and we can get rid of this one that we have so now we have both the landing page report and this pages report But the thing about this report is 
it only gives you the number of exits. If you want to find the exit rate, what you'll have to do is export the data, make sure you have the appropriate permissions to do so. You can bring it into Google Sheets and then calculate the exit rate. As soon as you're able to import the data into Google Sheets. Now what we're going to do is select the column where the exits metric is, right click and choose insert one column left. And then we'll name the column percent exit and for the first row we'll type equals select from column H the corresponding row in exits divided by views so that's column B and then press enter and it'll allow you to autofill so you can do that and what we'll do for this column is change it to percent and there you have your exit rate so that's how you create a new explore report for both the landing page and pages report as well as how you can find the percent exit rate for each page so if you found this helpful please like, subscribe, comment, share, and if you want to see more content on Google Sheets, let me know in the comments, and we'll see you in the next episode.